Well, we mentioned it at the start of this group, but Stanislava Konstantinova has some big skates to fill. The 17-year-old replacing Evgenia Medvedeva, silver medalist at the Olympics, but two-time world champion who pulled out with injury. So performing to the soundtrack Anna Karenina by Dario Marinelli. Yes, just about makes the triple it's triple toe arm aloft on the first part of that combination, but down there. Loss of concentration perhaps. Oh, and there as well. On the triple loop. Listen to that crowd. Doing everything they can here to raise. Konstantinova's spirits. Lovely positions on that combination spin. Combination coming up next, starting with the triple flip. No, yep, <laughs> just the double. No combination. Looked to be a bit of indecision going in. Double footed on the second triple Lutz. and down on that triple flip. He's going for a very difficult transition in entry. Wait far forward on the double axle, but does manage just about to get the double toe. Double-footed, I think, again on that double axle. Well, you at home will know only too well that some routines you just lose yourself in, in the artistry and the brilliance of the performance. Some routines you just fear the whole way through and worry, and I'm afraid that routine falls into the latter category. That was very difficult to watch. And at no point did she look like she was relaxed and in control of what she was doing on the ice. No, you're absolutely right. Tough day at the office for Konstantinova. 
three falls. It all seemed to really get on top of her. I have to say, <laughs> being a, a Russian ladies figure skater and going out there to Anna Karenina, which of course is Medvedeva's music for this Olympic season, <laughs> it's, it's a pretty tough act to follow. And she's going for real difficulty on these jumps. You can see the trademarks of Zagitova and Medvedeva in there and Sotskova as well, who we'll see later. Oh dear, oh dear, that fall, as you say, Simon, a sign of just being ill at ease out there on the ice. She's going for the, the levels and the difficult transitions, which is what Zagitova and Medvedeva have become known for. Again, the arm aloft there. And it, when you're in the very upper tiers of skating, it is a way to to get those marginal gains and to get those few points that make the difference between a medal and, and not. But at this level, I wonder if she's just going for a little bit too much and just needs to focus on the basics and making sure of those elements before she worries too much about the fuss around the edges. As I say, some of those transitions were really difficult um, and perhaps could have been preoccupying her throughout the program. But when you fall like she did at the start, not really attempting any kind of huge element really shakes you. And uh, that probably will have felt really uncomfortable throughout. And I really feel for her. She's, um, she's got lovely presence on the ice when it all works. <laughs> I wonder when she chose that music whether she knew that Medvedeva was uh, skating to the same. Anna Karina, different arrangement, of course, but you're always going to come up second best, unless you're Alina Zagitova. Well, she's proved what a great skater she is this season. 132.21, a season's best, but that is way, way below par for Konstantino. It's uh, another very quiet bench. Well, 153.03, the combined total for sixth place. So, Sotskova and Sagi.